Hello and welcome to Lynn TV, your local internet news station from Paphos. I'm Lucy Robson with the main news today. As the global financial crisis expands, the Cyprus government has announced it will guarantee individual bank savings of up to €50,000 under an EU directive. Meanwhile, £50 billion are being pumped into the UK banking system to keep it afloat in a partial nationalisation plan. Always feeling the pinch, the island's charities are in even more difficult circumstances with the credit crunch in Europe impacting on how generous European donors are able to be. One such organization, the Marguerite Eliezidou Foundation for Children with Special Needs, has asked the Human Rights Parliamentary Committee for more state funding to help meet its increasing annual running costs. One of the only local centers for special needs, it says it relies largely on charity donations and just can't run properly without government help. Paphos Municipality has been ordered to appoint a labour safety officer. Under EU law, local government is obliged to create such a post, but the directive has not yet been implemented locally. Paphos has one of the highest levels of labour accidents in Cyprus. There are still a few places open for participation in trials at Paphos International Airport ahead of its official opening next month. Participants are required for two sessions of five hours, which will see them simulating passenger processes such as checking in. Each person taking part will receive shopping vouchers of 50 euros. For further information, email lara at connective.com.cy. Finally, the dulcet tones of 60s singing star Kenny Lynch delighted diners at Chillington's restaurant last night. The event was held in support of the Friends Hospice Appeal. That's all for today. We'll be back tomorrow with more news from Paphos. Thank you for watching.